Hello everyone, I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. Recently, lots of you has been requesting me to make a guide video on Meraidan. So I have decided that in this video, I will show you how to play Meraidan from beginner to advanced level. Now, let me give you the highlight of this video. This video is divided into 4 parts. In the first part, I will explain the each and every moveset of Meraidan. In the second part, I will show you what are the best combo for Meraidan. In the third part, I will show you what are the best moveset for Meraidan. And in the Fourth part, I will show you the best build and boost emblem for Miraidan. So, if you are new here, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you can get more this type of Unite content. Now, without wasting any time, let's begin the video. Let's first talk about the passive ability of Meraidan because his passive ability is pretty complex and very important to know and I will try to explain it in very simple and easy way to understand. So let's begin. The passive ability of Meraidan is called Hydron Engine. When the passive ability of Meraidan gets triggered, he creates an electric field around him. As you can see, this glowing area are the electric field of Meraidan and this electric field will stay for 10 seconds which is pretty long duration of time. And this passive get triggered when you hit the opposing pokemon with any of your moveset but this passive does not get activated through the jungle pokemon which is kinda good because you won't be wasting your passive on jungle pokemon and the total cooldown of this passive is 30 seconds and you can identify whether your passive is ready or not by looking at the blue bar below the hp bar and when that bar is full you are ready to trigger your passive now you might be wondering what are the uses of passive ability of meraidan well there are three types of of buffs you get from Meraidan's passive. The first one is, when Meraidan is inside the electric field, he deals 30% extra damage with his all moveset. And if the teammates of the Meraidan are also inside the electric field, they will also deal extra 10% damage with all their moveset. And the second buff is, if the Meraidan and their teammates are inside the electric field, they cannot be put into sleep. Now what does mean sleep in Pokemon Unite? Well, there are some Pokemon which uses the sleep ability, like Gengar, Snorlax, and Wigglytuff. As you can see, Meraidan is being immune to the sleep effect of Gengar's Dream Eater. Likewise, he also immune the sleep effect of Snorlax Sion. I also thought that Meraidan can immune the stun effect of Civil Eye, but sadly, he cannot immune the stun effect. Neither can he immune the Unite move of Civil Eye. Maybe it's because it is not proper sleep effect. And the third buff from Meraidan's passive is, when the electric field is on your goal zone, the healing effect or the HP restore effect is increased by 30% for both you and your teammates, which is really useful to restore your HP while defending your goal zone from the enemy. It will be super hard for the enemy to kill you, especially inside the goal zone. So without the electric field, the restoring speed of HP is only 200 HP. But when you are inside the electric field, the restoring effect has has increased and became 260 HP and when the electric field is on the enemy's goal zone it decreases the restoring effect of enemies by 30% and this is really useful because you can easily kill the enemy inside their goal zone and last one more information about Meraidan's passive this one is really important it's about the range of the Meraidan's electric field the passive of the Meraidan uses Aoi's ball automatically and it can use up to 40 Aoi's ball let me show it to you how does it it exactly works. First, let's try without the Aoi's ball. As you can see, the electric field is pretty small. Now, let's try with the Aoi's ball. I will be using only 10 Aoi's ball. As you can see, the electric field is little bit bigger than the previous electric field. Now, let's try with 40 Aoi's ball. This time the electric field even got much more bigger and this was all about the Meraidan's passive. Now let's talk about his move set. First let's begin with the move called Thunder Shock. This move is pretty basic and easy to understand. It just fires an electric shock and just deal damage. The next move is called Thunder Wave. You can drag this move and lock into any Pokemon. And when this move hits an opposing Pokemon, it paralyzes them. Which means that it will reduce basic attack speed by 10% of opposing Pokemon and movement speed by 30% for 2 seconds. That is what paralyze mean in Pokemon Unite. The word paralyze doesn't mean that they will stop moving. It just simply means that it will reduce their basic attack speed and movement speed. That's all. And when you reach level 5, you get 2 moves 
moves. You can either use charge beam or electro drip. Let's talk about the charge beam first. With this move, you can fire an electric beam in a designated direction. The charge beam has three stacks, which means that you can use it for three times. And to use it for three times, you must hit any object for two times while using the charge beam. Because maximum you can store up to two charge beam. And whenever you hit any object while using it, the cooldown of the charge beam gets refreshed. At the third time, the charge beam becomes boosted and it continuously fires an electric beam in a designated direction. Not only that, when you use charge beam and hit any opposing Pokemon with it, Meridan's special attack is increased by 10% for 6 seconds. And while using boosted charge beam, you can change its direction only by moving. And make sure that you have at least 2 charge beam stored. If you have only 1 charge beam stored, you won't be able to use the boosted charge beam. And you can also increase the range of the charge beam by holding it. But the damage will not increase, the damage will be totally same. Now let's talk about the electro drip. The mechanic of the electro drip is almost same as charge beam. Like the charge beam, you can also store electro drip for two times. To use the boosted electro drip, you must hit the opposing Pokemon with electro drip for two times. When you use the electro drip for the third time, you get the boosted electro drip. At the boosted electro drip, Meridans becomes a giant wheel and he can log into any designated Pokemon. Not only that, while using the boosted electro drip, Meridans become immune to all the hindrance and the traveling distance of Meridan also massively increases. This move also did increase damage if the remaining HP of the opposing Pokemon are lower than 50%. That was all about the Electro Drip. When you reach level 7, you get two moves, Thunder and Parabolic Charge. Let's first talk about the Thunder. This move is very easy to understand and to use. With this move, Meridan summons a cloud which continuously drops Thunderbolt at a set interval time. This move is almost same as Pikachu's Thunder move, but the only difference is Meridan Thunder can chase or move towards the nearest enemy. And when the opposing Pokemon get struck by this Thunder, their movement speed is decreased by 10%. This is why the Thunder of Meridan is really useful, especially in the team fight, because it will massively decrease the movement speed of the opposing Pokemon. Now let's talk about the Parabolic Charge. When you hit any opposing Pokemon by using Parabolic Charge, it will decrease their movement speed by 50% for 2 seconds. And Meridan also recovers some HP. If you only hit one Pokemon by using Parabolic Charge, the recovery of the HP will be little bit less. But when you hit multiple targets with Parabolic Charge, the recovery will be much more higher. But when you hit multiple targets with Parabolic Charge, the recovery will be much more higher. And when the Parabolic Charge becomes plus version, it will also give you some shield when you recover HP. There is last one more thing about the Parabolic Charge. When you hit any opposing Pokemon with Parabolic Charge, it will restore one more use of either electric drip or charge beam. Let me show it to you how does it exactly works. As you can see now I have zero electro drip. Now if I use parabolic charge on any opposing pokemon, it will restore my one electro drip. This is why the parabolic charge is really useful. And the parabolic charge works exactly same in charge beam. If you miss one of your charge beam, you can use parabolic charge to restore one of your charge beam. And that was all about the parabolic move set. Now let's talk about the unite move of Meridan. The name of the Meridan's unite move is Bright Future Meteor Storm, which is kind of cool name. When you use the unite move, Meridan calls down 5 meteor strike. And each time when the meteor hits the opposing Pokemon, the damage is increased by 20% for the next meteor which is going to strike. Remember this, each time the meteor hits the opposing pokemon, the damage is increased by 20%, which is really huge amount of damage. So if you are playing against Meridan, try to dodge the meteor, you already know the reason. And one more thing about the unite move of Meridan, the final meteor which falls will always have the higher damage with wider area, and it will stun the opposing pokemon for 1 second. And while using the unite move, Meridan is immune to hindrance effect and this was the explanation of all the moveset of Meridan. Now let me show you the best combo moveset for Meridan. And for the first combo moveset it's Electro Drift and Parabolic Charge. Using these two moveset is pretty easy if you understand the mechanics properly. The first combo is use Electro Drift two times and then use the boosted Electro Drift. So first use the Electro Drift two times and make sure that both of these hits the opposing Pokemon. And after that use the boosted Electro Drift. 
That was the first combo of Electro Drip. For the second combo, first you must use the Electro Drip and then Parabolic Charge and then Electro Drip and then Boosted Electro Drip. As you can see, now you have only one Electro Drip stored. That is the reason why in the second combo, you must use Parabolic Charge to restore one more Electro Drip. So you can get the Boosted Electro Drip. Now Electro Drip, Parabolic Charge, Electro Drip and then boosted electro drip and the third combo is same as the second combo you must use the electro drip parabolic charge electro drip and then boosted electro drip in this manner you can almost use the electro drip unlimited times and by chance if you miss the electro drip while doing the first combo just use the parabolic charge to restore one of your electro drip and then you are good to go this was all about the combo moveset of parabolic charge. Now let me show you the second combo moveset of Meridan, which is charge beam and thunder. And to use these two moveset is pretty easy. First use the thunder to slow down the enemy and then use the charge beam. But if the enemies are far away, just increase the range of your charge beam by holding it. And some of you might be wondering to use the parabolic charge with charge beam. Well, if you are thinking about this then, it will be totally a bad moveset because why while using charge beam you must maintain little distance from opposing pokemon so that you can easily deal damage to them but doesn't take any damage from them but when you are using parabolic charge you must be close to opposing pokemon or else you won't be able to use parabolic charge this is why using charge beam and parabolic charge together will be bad and this was all about the combo moveset of meridan now you might be wondering which moveset to use in the rank well let me clarify it to you both the moveset are good both of them deal really high amount of damage if you like to play from the behind like pure attacker you should definitely use charge beam and thunder these two movesets are best if you like to play from the behind and because of the long range that meridan has while using these two movesets it will be hard for the enemy to reach you or if you are a type of player who likes to dive in the opposing pokemon or to chase the opposing pokemon you should definitely play with electro drift and parabolic charge this was all about the best moveset for meridan and about the best build for Meridan, you can use this build on both moveset. This build is one of the most finest build for Meridan. That's it for today guys. And if this video was helpful for you, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel.